Good morning, Pepper people. This is Red Griffin. Welcome to Grizzly Heat. How are you guys doing, man? I hope your week's going good. It's Tuesday. We got through the dreaded Monday. Got some stuff going on that I got to take care of today. I don't know how many videos I'll make, but I'll definitely try to make at least one more. Try to do two today at least. Maybe three, but definitely two. Um, I got another sauce from um, Revved Up Sauce Company here in Las Vegas. This one's their spicy cayenne. Being from South Louisiana, I grew up with cayenne-based sauces. My grandma had a little pepper plant when I was a kid, little tiny red peppers. I didn't know what they were. I found out later, cayenne peppers. We used to dare each other to eat them. Probably started me on my journey, I guess. And I grew up with Tabasco and, you know, South Louisiana. So I'm excited to try this one out looks like it's got some seeds and stuff in it so uh i haven't read the ingredients yet but we'll be smelling it because our smell is our first sense of taste guys um i'm liking their sauces they're very unique um they're not most of the sauces are not what i expect them to taste like um but delicious the peri peri ghost <laughs> that one was delicious completely delicious pineapple bomb they're all good um but this one spicy cayenne from revved up sauce company here in las vegas let's check this out smell the cayenne right from the beginning i know there's people that like these but i'm not a fan of flow restrictors sorry miss rebecca there are people that like them a lot of us we just pull them off but most people they enjoy them on there they don't want to add too much sauce we want it to come out good so we take that off we will not be restricting the sauce and guess what we won't be tainting it either smell of cayenne vinegar definitely tabasco style they have another one a southern style i want to try that one too that that's the one I'm going to probably do tomorrow, maybe this afternoon. Um, it's the last one I have in their line of sauces. Um, but this one here smells like a maybe like vinegar forward, cayenne. I smell a little bit of garlic. So maybe Tabasco similar? I don't know. Let's read the ingredients. Ingredients on this shake well before using... For Silas, give it a shake, shake. Heating up. Thanks again, brother, for all the love. You guys check out Heating Up's plays. Page Joe's great. He did a full Robbie dropper of uh, Doonberry yesterday. Guy's stepping up his game. He's getting ready for the Tuba Terra run. I think he's his his tolerance is higher than mine. Was he like, went back and looked. He ate like 18 peanuts out of the Tuba Terra, and then and just went to work. Was working when he did that. This guy probably wouldn't have been working. Good job, Joe. Anyway, let's read the ingredients on this. Hide um, Revved Up Sauce Company's Spicy Cayenne. Um, this one has red wine vinegar, white vinegar, molasses, tomato paste, Worc Worcestershire sauce. What's this here sauce? I mean, Worcestershire sauce. Um, salt. Sugar, garlic, cayenne pepper, sandem gum, sorbic acid. I love Worcestershire sauce. I'm partial to Lian Perrin's from South Louisiana. We say Lian Perrin, but Lian Perrin sauce, great Worcestershire sauce. If you guys like Worcestershire sauce, that to me that's my the my best one that I've tasted. So I'm I'm really want to taste this with the Worcestershire sauce in it and two. Um, two ingredients, um, two vinegars, red wine and white wine and habanero peppers. So it's got habanero peppers. I'm going to read this one more time because I didn't read that the first time. I'm not doing another take. No take two. Habanero peppers, red wine vinegar, white vinegar, molasses, tomato paste, Worcestershire sauce, salt, sugar, garlic, cayenne pepper, xanthan gum. First ingredient, cayenne pepper. I mean, can't talk this morning guys it's early first ingredient habanero peppers 
I smell the Worcestershire. Got some in my nose. My mouth is watering after smelling that, guys. Johnny always goes, my mouth is watering. Here, let's check this out, guys. Nice consistency. Red Griffin Grizzly Heat. Stay spicy, pepper people. Wow. It's got the molasses in it. I was thinking it was going to be like Tabasco. It's not. It's similar. I get the Worcestershire sauce. Or as my grandfather used to say, what's this here sauce? What's this here sauce? I get the Worcestershire sauce. Definitely the habaneros, the vinegar. So it's similar to like a Tabasco style. I'm sure that I'm pretty sure the Southern style will be more like a Tabasco, but this one, this is unique. Mm. I like that. The sweetness with the Worcestershire sauce has got the molasses in it. Good blend of sugar, the garlic. Habanero. Mm. That's good sauce. My grandpa, so you guys know him, he spoke French before he spoke English, South Louisiana. I had to learn English in school. They would make something they would call, it's a sauce rouille. They would cook a steak or a pork chop and basically put a little salt and pepper on it a little bit of oil in the bottom of a, black, a cast iron skillet and cover it in tabasco or hot sauce usually tabasco and just kind of brown it um in that sauce that's what i'm going to do with this i'm going to get i don't care if it's a cheaper steak or something but it's going to be a steak i'm going to cover it in this and i'm going to brown it in a pan um they say use on pulled pork Definitely add to pizza and mix into tortilla soup. Those are all good recommendations. I want to put this, like I said, I don't care if you go and you get one of just the mock tender, the mock sirloins or whatever the tenderloins they have at the grocery store. Um, salt and pepper, a little bit of oil. Cover each side. Put the cover one side. Drop it in there. Cover the other side and brown both sides. I don't cook my steak well done so that's what i'm gonna do with this the sweetness with the garlic um the worcestershire i use that a lot in, in steaks um making me hungry this is good sauce guys i'm really thankful that i found this company thanks again miss rebecca um spicy cayenne heat level they say it's uh it's hot she said that they're working on some stuff to tickle uh, my heat. My tolerance is high. If you're not into hot stuff, this is probably, I would say, maybe a five or a six. Could even be hotter. Maybe a six. Maybe a seven. If you've never eaten anything hot, it probably couldn't be a seven or something. But if you've eaten, you know, milder stuff or maybe even Tabasco, this is probably a five. For me, it's maybe a two, but again, my tolerance is high. You guys got to understand that it's not, it's not that there's no spice in it. It's just that I've got a, my, my tolerance, I'm building it up pretty good. So I'd say probably a two for me, um, but this is delicious. Great sauce. Again, thanks for tuning in guys. Um, I'll be back. Hopefully do another video. I might finish up the, the revved up line. Um, got a bunch more stuff to do um reviews um got a couple of challenges looking forward to to doing the tincture tuesday with johnny and the and the chase the heat family i think uh 
uh, Steve Gillespie, he, my shorts is in. Um, I'm hoping Uncle Remus looks like he in, he's in. Joe wants to be in, but he's got to work. Uh, heating up. You guys, like I said, go give his play, page a like um, and subscribe. Uh, Hunter Hass, you know, he'll probably be in there. He's got some tincture right now that's hot. He said it lit him up. Um, yeah, I got, I got four four bottles of tincture so I'm, I'm looking forward to getting in that in in that and and I think the last Friday of the month is the Tubatera run so I'm working on that guy so you guys will see me in those things getting lit up that one's gonna be legit I still I always say those dang peanuts they're still the hottest thing you guys check that out but hey Support your local company. Check these guys out. Revved Up Sauce Company. It'll be a link in the description box. A link for the spoon. Chase the Heat Spoon. Um, and um, just remember, treat everyone the way that you want to be treated. Like I said, yeah, I think it was yesterday. We learned that. They taught us that in kindergarten. You know, be nice to one another. We should still live that way. They're teaching us that when, when we first start school. That means that carries on. Why would they teach it to us? So let's be nice to one another and um, as always, stay spicy pepper people.